Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's August 2nd of 2017. And this is a review of this Authenitrin Nano USB fingerprint reader. And I just received it today. This is the package that it comes in, except I've already popped the little Nano thing out. But I haven't installed it yet. Um, wanted to mention that I've been using uh, LastPass for years and years, and I've been satisfied with that. Uh, it you can use with it, uh, like I also purchased and tried for a little tiny bit. Uh, I don't know what it is. This the uh, not how you pronounce it. Yabico, I'm not sure, but I have, maybe I should switch cameras here, let's do that. I have one of these, and I used this for a little while, but I, I, if I remember correct, it's been so long ago that uh, I was using it more or less just for my uh, computer to log into the computer so that uh, somebody else couldn't log in without having my finger. Uh, I also purchased this and I've never messed with it. This is this and I have this. I've looked at it a little bit but I've never tried to use it. It uh, doesn't use any device I really haven't spent that much time looking at it, but it doesn't look like to me that's for me. Uh, this device, when I, I bought this a long time ago, I think it might have been their first uh, device, version one or something or other. Now they've come out with different, I can't keep up with, we have a whole bunch of different products. And I can't keep up with them and I don't know if mine is outdated or if it's I would imagine it probably still does the basic thing but it's I don't know what it is I've always been interested in uh, you know fingerprint ID or facial recognition or that type of stuff I'm not much into uh, security I mean this my computer is set up <laughs> Or maybe I shouldn't tell you this. My computer is set up. If if you sit down at my computer because of LastPass, it just automatically logs. If you go to the bank account or wherever you go, it just takes you right there. You know, because it's all done automatically. Now you don't have to do that with LastPass. You can tell it that you know that you have to enter a when you first turn on. But, uh, but this interests me for that reason. So we're going to find out. So I'm going to, I'll leave these here because I'll, I'll put a link to them on YouTube, but I can't put a link on Amazon. And this is an Amazon review. So, oh, and on here is a barcode. And that barcode, when you scan it, uh, takes you to this. Uh, PDF file and so there's no instructions in here so you have to scan this barcode to, or you know I'll put the I'll put the link of course on YouTube so I'm go oh also my computer is over here and so I could just put this in here and reach over and you know scan but I happen to have one of those keyboards that uh, you can, has a USB port on it. So I am going to plug this into the USB port and I'll just leave it there. I had a camera hooked in there so I had to move it. So, okay. Setting up device. It says it's, uh, well you can see it. Okay, setting up device. So, uh, insert AT key, hello dongle, into available USB port. 
only supports Windows 10, 32, or 64-bit. Uh, well, it says AT key dot H E L L O L O. Device is ready. Huh. Hmm. Okay, how do I find out if it's ready? I mean, I, I'll lose you if I uh, try to log. I guess I should go to some site. Well, the problem with that, every uh, site I have, LastPass will auto want to automatically log me in. Well, let's see what happens here. Where do we want to go? Uh, I could, I'll temporarily turn off LastPass. My gosh, I don't know what to do with uh, remove, hide, let's see. Password manager, LastPass. Uh, options. Let's see. Well, maybe I could just go up here and right click. Nope. LastPass Manager. Options. I don't want to remove it. Hmm. This may be a. How can I test this thing? See, I've I never shut down. I know it can be done. I never shut down LastPass. Well, I know what I can do. I can do this. Uh, extensions. Okay, add blocker. Last pass enable. Okay, I'm gonna not enable. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So now I'm going to go to uh I'll go to Facebook. Okay, am I logged in? I probably was already logged in, so how long has this been, this video here? Okay, I guess LastPass is not a, I mean, I guess that's not a good one to log into. Let's go someplace. I don't want to log into my bank account here and have you see that. Uh, let's try YouTube. Okay, let me go up here, maybe log out. Here, okay, sign out. Okay, now I want to sign in. So, sign in. Uh, enter your password. Can I, well, it's not gonna know Let's see, where is this thing here? I've got my finger over, but it won't know. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work that way. Okay. Um, okay, USB device not recognized. Okay. Okay, let's see here. The last USB device you connected malfunctioned and Windows did not recognize it. Try reconnecting. I guess I need to go read the instructions, don't I? Uh, okay. If your OS is Windows 10 Redstone, 
one version, build, six, upgrade, okay, it's gonna, okay, what if it's not? Okay, if your OS is not upgraded to Windows 10 Redstone, okay, uh, okay, I've already downloaded the, okay, go to where? Device, update driver, or install driver. Okay, go to where did it say to go to? I should not have tried to do device manager. Let's see, HI keyboard device, is that it? Audio, other device, here it is, okay. Fingerprint sensor, I don't want to remove it now. Uh, probably need to reboot, and I can't reboot without losing you all. I think that's what I need to do is when I end this and I'm going to reboot the computer and take a few minutes to try to do this instead of trying to do it in front of you and then I'll be back so don't touch that mouse. Okay I'm back a little frustrated I, I rebooted and uh, the drivers I were in, you know everything was installed I I think I made a mistake but when I when I rebooted the computer because I think this was this was optional uh, software their software to uh, sort of act like last pass whatever that keeps track of it what you want I mean you know and so uh, I installed that well, I guess I really, you get a 30 day free trial. I haven't checked to see what it would cost. See, LastPass is free, but of course I pay, and it's very little, I think uh, $12 a year or something. I, I pay every year, you know, for that. Uh, I don't know how much this is, but um, anyway, let me click on here. Okay, now I put my finger over here, wherever it is. Okay, that time it's uh, signed in. Okay for me. Uh, the, a couple of times before that I tried it said, you know, uh, I had to take my finger off and put my finger on again. Now what I do like about this is I was wondering how I was going to get all the passwords, but if it watches and when I log in, then it catches it and puts it, in, you know, puts it in there. So it did that for Twitter for me. But with me running LastPass, um, my computer automatic logs me and it doesn't pick that up. I would have to log out and I have, uh, that's okay. This here's the next thing, which is a, which is a problem is, uh, and I see no way to adjust this. It, times out on this. I want the thing to run all the time. Or at least I need it to run all the time if I'm going to go ahead, if I was going to go ahead and uh, put all these passwords into this, their system. So, um, I I feel like this is not let me go ahead and see how the thing logs in again if it uh, 
logs in again and takes the pat my finger immediately because a couple times before this I did it and it, I did redo it again. So I'm going to fire this up again here. Touch to sign in. There, see. Then it got it. Of course, I probably would get the heck of you know you'd kind of get the heck of it after a while, but. So I don't like that. I don't know whether that's um, of course you can go through and redo your and you can add other people. You can have other people too. You can have multiple people uh, sit down at and it would recognize their uh, their finger and then they would go to their area and then they could actually open their things up, which I'm not sure that LastPass does have. Okay, they're logging me out here again, so I'll just go ahead and I want to test my finger thing here again. But, um, like I say, that I think the problem would be for me would be, and maybe there's a way around it that I don't see, but I don't see any setting for it. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, okay, we're going to Hit this again here. Touch to sign in. Okay, so it's just you know I don't know exactly where that it, 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 it takes me. It's going to take me a while to. So that's not a problem. So okay, let's find out how much they charge. Okay, this is where you get the free trial, but okay, I want to, uh, okay, ready to buy, start managing your password, okay, um, if that's nineteen ninety five a year, that's, that's fine, um, I guess I have to click on, I don't want to buy it, let me click on this and see, hope it doesn't, Go ahead and buy it for me. Password manager. Okay. Okay, is this nineteen ninety five a month or I think it's a one-time purchase. Maybe let me go to products. Okay. Let's see here if it tells. Okay. Try it for free. Okay. Supports Windows 7. Well, their software is what they're talking about. It's Windows 7, 8, 8, 1, 10. Seven, seven. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it's a one. Um, I'll update the... Uh, Amazon review in the text part when I make sure that this is, which I'm sure it is, $20 a year. No, I think it's actually $20 and it's, I think that's it. I think it's $20. Why don't they, how many pass secure? Come on, just say it's 20 to purchase it. That appears to be what it is, that it's $20 to purchase it. Then you own it. I'm sure that's what it is. I will update in the text underneath when I find out. So, for
For other people, I would give this a four. I think the setting up of the thing is maybe a little, I don't know, strange. I, I'd give it a four. For myself, I'm not interested in it because I'm using LastPass. I've been using it for years. I'm familiar. I'm familiar with it. All my passwords are set up. So this is not for me. But for somebody who needs security for their system and for somebody that has multiple people using their computer, uh, this would be ideal. Maybe I'm going to give it a five. Because if you have multiple people using your system with this, and I forget how many, it's a lot. You can each, you know, so this isn't, in that case, you're using it for one person. You could use it for your entire household, I guess your entire business, I'm guessing. So I'll give it five stars. Uh, Hardware-wise, it's nice. Huh. Oh, okay. So I touched, I just touched it and it kicked into the program. That might solve that timeout thing. Because if I go someplace and I want to add that I wouldn't have to go over and click on the software thing. I could just touch the sensor. I wonder if it popped up underneath. Yeah, that might solve that other problem. Say once, if I were using this, once I got all my stuff in here, I think it would be fine. But I'm, I'm going to stick with my last pass because I've been using it forever. But uh, yeah, I, I, I recommend this. So what did I not cover? Let's see. Uh, what I wanted to mention was because I saw here someplace about number of people that can use it and everything. A password, let's see, for a passwordless Windows 10 experience. If you're tired of constantly inputting your password. 360 degree fingerprint recognition. Built-in smart learning. Uh, I know I saw it someplace. I did not read, and I think I forgot to say, but I did not read that manual, by the way, that uh, um, that you can get from the barcode. And I had to reboot the computer, so I forgot to save it to the, so. I'm going to bring this to a conclusion. Sorry it took so long. Uh, that's, that's the problem when I have to reboot and I'm trying to make a video or whatever. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If I find out additional information, I'll put it in the text part. And I'm going to ask about that 1995. I'm sure that's to purchase the software and then you own it and that's it. And thank you very much.